seems like every week, multiple times a week, there is a new tool announcement released by Ryobi, not Ryobi. It's really pretty impressive. They have over 300 plus tools right now and they continue to grow. So it's really insane. I got three new tools, two of them very cool. One of them very, very cool. I would even say real nice like so we're just going to get into it but i do want to let you know that i have everything on the tool review zone website so if i scroll too fast for you i'll leave a link in the description below for you to check these out you can read the article and all the information that you might have missed on this video so the first one up if you haven't tried the ryobi nailers they are very good they do a very good job in a couple categories number one their nailers are fantastic and number two their vacuums are top of the line so i'm glad to see a new nailer this is the all new 18 volt one plus airstrike 23 gauge pin nailer and again a lot of people using these even professionals saying that they've been using these nailers they are very very good they might not come with all the bells and whistles that a lot of the other pro brands might have but for the price the action on these things are great 159 for the bear tool if you buy it in the kit you're going to get a two amp hour uh, lithium bat ray for 189 so a few dollars more you can get the kit depending on if you're already in the program or not or the platform or not whatever you can drive up to 4,000 nails per charge when using 18 volt 6ah so with a larger one you can get a lot of nails driven it's crazy 23 gauge pin nailer can drive up to 4,000 nails per charge when using an 18 volt 6ah Lithium high performance, so that's their better bat rate. And over 1,000 nails per charge on the 18 volt 2AH, which I'm glad they said this because the kit comes with the 2AH. So 1,000 nails on a 2AH, which if you needed to charge it, you know, those, those batteries are very quick charging. So the length of the pin nail you can drive is up to 1 and 3 eighths inch. So a half inch to 1 and 3 eighths inch nail range. And it's Ryobi's smallest pin nailer to date, coming in at 10% lighter weight than more compact than the previous model. So in case you didn't know or didn't know, they did have a previous model and this is smaller. No compressors, no hoses, or gas cartridges needed. You just put in the bat ray and you go. So this is pretty cool to see this. You know, three year manufacturer warranty and for the price, it's not bad. So it's good to see that Ryobi, even though they have these tools, they are continuously updating them, making them a little bit smaller, whatever they're doing. So just to let you know, new pin nailer, three year warranty on this. And uh, yeah, let's move it to the next tool. So the next one announced, some people will really like this. Some people will have no use for it, but I think this is good if you're on a boat, UTV, you go off-roading, whatever. This is the new 40 volt, 1200 PSI, one gallon per minute. It's, it's a smaller unit, but it's all bat ray powered. This is their new pressure washer. So 80 volt HP brushless, 1200 PSI, one gallon per minute pressure washer. Price with this, this is tool only, I believe is 199 MSRP. Ryobi introduces all new 40 HP brushless pressure washer to its powerful 40 volt lineup. So just to give you an idea, this all new pressure washer delivers portable cleaning with none of the hassles of cords, which is nice. Like I said, if you're out there cleaning your deck, this isn't like cleaning semi trucks that just came off of a, a freshly tarred and chipped road. This is for like your decks, your patio furniture, your boats, your RVs, something you just need a smaller job. You're not doing your whole driveway with it. Maybe some sidewalk, not your whole driveway. Okay, 40 minutes of runtime when using the 40 volt 12 age battery so this is their largest 40 volt battery they're saying 12 ah this will give you 40 minutes of runtime, and i'm guessing that's on high which is not bad uh washer can provide 40 minutes of runtime, making it ideal for various light duty pressure washing jobs i just said that with two modes user can control cleaning to match your needs so you got the eco mode which maybe that's the 40 minutes of runtime. the eco mode operates at 900 psi at 0.8 gallons per minute providing a longer runtime and efficiency while the high mode 1200 psi one gallon power so the three included nozzles you got a 15 degree turbo and a soap and then a 25 foot high pressure non-marring hose can be stored directly on the pressure washer i do have some pictures of this which i will show you best of all this new pressure washer is part of the ryobi not ryobi 40 volt system over 85 cordless products so they do have a very large uh, system on the 18 volt and their 40 volt is definitely growing so you can see all this i'm going to leave this on the website you can check this out and here it says right here i deal for cars boats recreational vehicles sidewalks i just said all that am i psychic 
I believe that may be the case. I walked patio furniture, docks, and more. I'm good. I did not read this. Uh, but we all get it. We get what it is. It's 50% faster cleaning with a turbo nozzle, right? And a quarter inch quick connect nozzle coupler. Five year manufacturer's warranty. And this tool will be available in tool only configuration. And it will be available, I believe, let me see, where, where is it? Where? April 2024. I believe that the nailer was as well. April. 2024 so exclusive at the home depot there's no links for this yet because again it's new but let me show you the one that i really think is cool uh yeah now i do have a video i can show you i can't play the sound because they play music in the background i ain't getting copyrighted for no crap of music so let me just play the video and i'll talk to you a little bit about what's going on here all right so let's go ahead and take a look at this this thing looks very cool to me now i don't know if there's other things out on the market that does this exact thing maybe there is I, I don't know but this looks pretty neat i'll show you the prices the specs on but basically what you're looking at is a two-in-one tool you have a portable workbench and you also have a dolly that is built in one system not only that not only do you have that sweet sweet wooden worktop if you are in the link ecosystem we have videos on that you know the storage and all that you can attach these things to this this portable workbench, which is pretty cool. Your vacuums and whatever. You can also do measurements on here. You can see they got the woodage up on top. They don't need no tape measure. You can see that they got the vacuum hook. You can actually get the pieces and they will hook on the back of this portable workbench and it turns into a dolly. So that, my friends, right there is real nice like. This is what I love about Ryobi. Not Ryobi, is because they come up with some really cool things. Now you've got the larger casters, the larger wheels on the back. So if you want to go up the steps, you can go up the steps. You want to go on the rugged terrain, you can do that. But I really do like that. It looks solid. It looks like it's very easy to fold up. It looks like it's very portable and to store. And there's another nice thing about this, even though he's going up those brick steps. If you want to transport this, if you have a tonneau cover on the back of your vehicle, your truck, look at him moving all those boxes you can remove that bottom plate and I, and I think there's a part in this video that they do that you can remove that bottom plate push it in there right here i'm psychic i did watch this video though but what's nice about that you don't have to worry about it banging up against your tonneau cover and you can store this thing pretty simple which is real nice like so i really do like this i think this is a very handy tool that anybody will have whether you're a diyer or even a professional, you're a handyman, you're going out and you're fixing things. Now, a lot of people might say, well, why don't you just go bring some saw horses and stuff? This is a two-in-one tool, my friend. You can't use no saw horses as a dolly. I don't think you can. You can't. I don't think you can. Now, here's what I like about this. The price is not bad. The MSRP, which that will probably be the price that it will go for. $199, $199, $200 for all of this. Now, I don't know what kind of wood is just made out of. You know, I don't know how rugged it is. I mean, the steel tubing looks pretty good. I don't know. I don't know. I have not had my hands on this yet. I do like that you can add all of these little accessories here. You got the screws. You don't have to put them on your, your table and you forget about them. They go in the yard, you know, and you run over and what's the lawnmower. Your, your customers run them over with the lawnmower. It's not good. But you can see they got the drill bits here. I think this is cool. So when does it come out? It comes out May. So January, February, March, April. Okay, so it's coming out in a couple of months. I don't think it's available yet. You can't even pre-order yet. So uh, May 2024 and 199. So just to give you some specs, again, this is on the tool reviews on website. 400 pounds. A sturdy steel frame supports a weight capacity of 400 pounds. Bench, uh, the speed bench can haul 300 pounds. So if you're using this as you know, a dolly or a hand truck or a hand cart or whatever you call it. Uh, detachable 19 inch heavy duty skid plate to transport under truck tonneau cover. 42 by 22 inch. Says the large durable woodwork surface allows for four sided edge clamping for materials like lumber or plywood. Uh, the surface also allows users to mount miter saws and other tools directly to the wood. So what's cool about this is, again, you can put your miter saw up there. And some people might have miter saw stands, but I bet you can't turn it into a dolly. Just saying. Miter saws, table saws. It's like an all-around table that you can do a lot of different things. I like this. I am very excited about this. So there you go. 10-inch uh, all-terrain rubber wheels. You get it. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check out the full article. You can read this yourself. 
Let me know what you think, though. Which one are you excited about? Are you not excited about anything? Are you excited about all of them? Love hearing that sweet, sweet feedback. And if you could smash that like button, well, that'd be greatly appreciated. Check out this video right here. We'll be back more soon.